All right, here's the construction for uh, an inscribed, a circumscribed square, uh, and, and, and an octagon. So first, you're going to need a circle. What we're going to do with this circle is divide it into four equal parts for the first square. What we can do is draw a line through the center. Now we really only need these intersections here, but just to be clear, here is the line. Now what we're going to do is bisect this line. And uh, one easy way of doing that is to open the compass up more than halfway. In fact, we'll go to the full diameter of the circle. And notice how I'm testing my compass. It's a little short there. I'll open it up a little bit more. It's a little large. That's about perfect. So then I make uh, a mark above. And I make a mark below. Then I take my compass. I flop it around. Place the sharp end on the other end of the line segment. And I intersect the mark above, and I intersect the mark below. Now, these two points define a line, and I can connect them. I don't really need to connect them, and in future videos you'll see that I don't. But, line up these two points, make a line through them. Now, the circle is broken up into four points. We're not going to connect them quite yet, but these four points do make a square if you connect them. We're going to continue and make another square. Take a compass and set it for the original setting, the half of a circle, the half of the original circle. So, let's see. Dial it in, and then test it. That's the same. Now, what we're going to do uh, four times is take the sharp end of the compass, place it on one of these four points we've constructed, and, whoops, gosh, and make a circle. We don't actually need the full circle, and in future constructions we won't do it, but it's a little easier to see what I'm doing. Go to another point, do the same thing. You see there are intersections that are occurring. Those are going to be useful. And one more circle. So this is a fairly pleasing design all by itself. What it's done is given us four more points. This one, this one, this one, and this one. So if we connect those four points, we'll also have a square. This square will contain the circle. So we're going to connect those first. Go ahead and do that. This square that contains the circle is called a circumscribed square. Circum went around, scribed was drawn. Circum scribed square. It was drawn around the circle. Now there's another circle, uh, sorry, another square, and it's inside here. It's those four points we initially made. So depending on what we need, we want a square in a circle or a square around a circle. We have two constructions now for doing that.
Okay. This square is called an inscribed square. Inscribed. It was scribed inside. <coughs> now you can have these two together on your homework. Um, the next thing I want to show you, I would like you to do separately. It's good practice. These squares on an octagon has twice as many points or sides as a square and we know how to double things and that's by using the perpendicular bisector which we actually already did um, these circles here bisected these sides of the inscribed square if i if i line up the center and these corners and make a little mark on the circumference of the circle where the line would cross right here and right here that divides this arc up and then I do the same on the other side line up the center in the two corners make a mark where the ruler crosses the circle right here and right here it divides the circle up uh, into eight pieces. So now if I connect those points, I'm going to have an eight-sided figure. I'm going to have an octagon. So this construction really gives quite a bit. You get a couple types of squares. You get an octagon. Actually, even more running around this thing. Let me move my drawing here. So we also have an octagon in the circle. It's an inscribed octagon. So here's, there's how to draw, um, I do an inscribed square, a circumscribed square, and an inscribed octagon.